Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, your coach for the Carolina Keldios for the UCL or the United Championship League. And today, I am bringing you guys our Week 14 match up against the Bug Maniac himself, the Bug Catcher. This guy over here, okay, this guy over here, Dan, aka A Drive, yo! <laughs> But anyways, I've been waiting for this match ever since like last week. Uh, I need my, I don't even know if I want to call it revenge. I need, I need to get him back, man, because he beat me last year with that Mega Metagross, but Mega Metagross is now banned in the UCL and there's a bunch of sirens going on outside. Don't pay attention to those sirens, but you're probably going to pay attention to those sirens because I just mentioned them anyways. So... Here we are, week 14, Dan and I have the same exact score, me, Dan, and Nexus are battling for the final playoff spot, and I really want that playoff spot, but even if I don't get that playoff spot, honestly, my record this my record this season has been really, really good, it's been, it's been a complete flip of last season, because last season I ended with like a 6, uh, six wins, 9 losses, so my record was like 6-9 last season, right? <laughs> 69. And then now I'm like, I'm 9-4 and four right now. So even if, even if I lose my last two matches, even if I lose this match and my match with Miguel, it's still a, it's a flip. It's a better record. It's a better record. And then it's like, I, lo I lost to really good people, you know? I lost to Leo. I lost to Joey. Um... I mean, I lost to Nexus, and I lost to Mo. Mo's been glowing up, too, and, and stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over the team real quick for you guys. We have a pretty interesting team uh, today. Today, today, I have a gigantic pace bin as well with a bunch of information about these mods. But here we have our Glide score with Poison Heal, with Toxic Ore, with Earthquake, U-Turn, Roost, and Ice Fang. Ice Fang purely for the Salamence, Earthquake for Stab, U-Turn, just in case we need to get up out of there. We have a couple speed investments in this thing to outspeed uh, Tyranitar things like that because we know Dan is going to bring out Tyranitar and we can either earthquake or U-turn on the Tyranitar if he does decide to uh, bring it because it might end up carrying Ice Beam and possibly Flamethrower as well for our Scizor because otherwise Tyranitar has nothing to touch us and we can just set up on it speaking of setting up here's our Scizor uh, Swords Dance Bug Bite Bullet Punch and Roost we have uh, we have investments in speed just so we can outspeed Tyranitar we're light metal uh for low kick but we're gonna end up mega evolving into um Make, we're gonna make it evolve into technician so you know there's that but we have sword stance just in case we can set up on something i wouldn't really want to set up on a tyranitar because tyranitar does get like flame through our fire blast and we do die to that so i don't want to do i don't want to try to set up unless like the tyranitar is gone and every threat of scissors is gone then i'll set up and just bullet punch everything away but anyways uh that is our scissor pretty much uh we do have speed investment in it and um yeah it's gonna outspeed some uh slow mons so here we have Maynetric. Uh, Maynetric is speed creeping this week. I don't honestly know what it's speed creeping, but we didn't put max speed in this thing uh, because his draft. I mean, Dan's dra Dan has some fast mods, but all his like. But at the same time, though, it's like I think I don't think Raichu outspeeds Maynetric, or maybe it does. I'm not sure. I can't really remember off the top of my head. But pretty standard Maynetric, with the exception of our hidden power. Our hidden power is not ice this week. It's ground because Dan does have a Raichu with Lightning Rod. And so he'll be in the same position that I'm in. I don't see him running HP Ice on the Raichu. I see him running HP Ground because if he runs HP Ice, then we can just come in with Maynetric and hit, hit him with the HP Ground. So there's that. Um, we're Life Orb, you know, just for more damage. And uh, yeah, there's that. Then we have Heatran here, uh, standard old Heatran. Uh, we have Will West to burn things, burn things like Vaporeon, uh, burn things like Venusaur. Uh, if, we could burn, if we could burn the Venusaur, that'd be great because then uh, Earthquake won't be doing as much damage if he does carry Earthquake on it. Um, we have Lava Plume for stab, Stealth Rock just to get chip damage, and Ancient Power uh, just for another move. I guess to hit like things like Salamence or whatever as well. Uh, we have Nasty Plot Azelf with Hidden Power Fighting. Now, um, from what I'm reading here, it uh, the, uh, he told me don't um, do not set up if he has a ditto because that'll be very very scary but uh, we have psychic for stab it hits the Venusaur we have hidden power fighting for Tyranitar we have shadow ball uh, for um, Del Fox and then nasty plot just to set up and then we have Suicune here apparently Suicune can take on Mega Venusaur and it gets extra sensory too so that's kind of wild like some of the moves these Pokemon get is actually kind of crazy and then since Vaporeon can't really do anything to us we can just set up Calm Minds all day unless he has Haze but hopefully he doesn't have Haze but he'll probably have Haze maybe I don't know but um 
we can set up all over the Vaporeon and uh, we can just do things. So um, I didn't team build with Powder this week. I team built with, uh, I think their name is Elise. It's like Ellis or Elise or someone. Um, Leo recommended them to me. They were like, yo, Jay, I want to help you out against Dan. And I was like, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. And they built this team. They have a ton of notes down here. And I'm just like, geez, man. I'm just like, geez, there's so many notes. So many notes. Like, I, I truly appreciate uh, the fact that, like, there are people out there who want to help me uh, team build and help me, you know, you know, do well in UCL. You know, like I said, like, shout out to Pauda. Uh, shout out to Leo for recommending me. Uh, this dude, shout out to Johnny GB as well. I did see the message on, on uh, YouTube. I got to go back and, like, read it, but I, I appreciate your help too. Uh, Elise, I appreciate your help as well. Thank you guys so much for helping me team build and stuff because, like, you know, I, I I need I need I need to I need to yeah I, I'm ready I want to win I want to win but anyways that is the team I'm gonna go ahead and hit up Dan for the match and then we'll get this match started. All right, you guys, so here we are with the match. Ah! Okay, here we go, guys. Woo! That was that was like my battle cry. I need I need to do my battle cry, man. I need to do my battle cry. But here we go, here we go. Let's hit the party Pokemon. And let's do this. Let's do this. So I fully expect Tyranitar to show up. Um, I expect Excadrill to show up. Tyranitar, no Excadrill. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he did bring Delphox though, so that's really good. He didn't bring Ditto, so that's even better. He brought Venusaur. He brought Cough. He brought Coughagrigus as well, so that's why we also have Shadow Ball. Um, that jot down his entire team as Salamence. He has Salamence, so. Looking at Dan's team, I'm not really sure what he wants to lead with. Um, he could easily lead with Tyranitar. He could lead with Kofagrigus if he wanted to. Uh, I honestly think he'll probably lead off with Titar, only on the fact that um, I think he'll I think he'll lead off with Titar. I think he'll lead off with Tyranitar, and I, I say that because he'll probably want to get up his Stealth Rocks. Um, Stealth Rocks would be really good for him. Uh, Stealth, Rock, Stealth Rocks would be really good for us as well so i'm looking at tyranitar um i'm looking at tyranitar what is tyranitar's base speed uh tyranitar's base speed is 61 so what about heatran um heatran's base speed is 77 so we should outspeed but it's like do i really want to lead off with it or nah I don't know. I think Glide Score would be a solid lead for us as well. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think right now. I think I think I'm gonna lead out with Glide Score. So so let's do that, and then let's look up common Tyranitar sets as well, just to see what all they run. Um, because I do see him running like Stealth Rocks. I think I think that's his only Rocker, Stealth Rocker. Um, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he does lead off with the T-Tar. Uh, that, he does lead off with it. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, he'll have Stealth Rock. Pursuit, probably, for Azelf, maybe. Or some sort of Dark Stab. And then Ice Beam Fire Blast. Right? So, would he, would he even have a stab on him? I don't even know. I don't even know. So... Should I click EQ? Should I just click EQ turn one? Or should I just U-turn expecting him to set up rocks? That's the question. And does he carry Earthquake? Does he carry it? I honestly think he'll just gonna go for, I think he's just gonna go for the, excuse me, Stealth Rocks this turn. I really think he's gonna go for the Stealth Rocks. So if I think he's gonna go for Stealth Rocks, I should just click EQ. Right? I should just click EQ and and get damage on it and then you turn out into something else, right? I think I think that would be okay. I think that would be good. He didn't bring Excadrill. Like he didn't bring Excadrill and outside of Salamence, nothing on his team. I mean, I mean maybe Coffagrigus will take the Earthquake, but still, like I think it's okay for us to go for Earthquake here. I think it's okay for us to go to go for the earthquake. Ooh, that did so much damage. He goes for the ice beam, so he just goes turn one ice beam. That's fine. He turned one. He turned one ice beams. That's perfectly fine. 
that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. So he does not want to go for the Stealth Rock. He does not want to go for the Stealth Rock. And if we can get this T-Tar out of the way, that would be great. That Earthquake did a lot of damage too. That's the thing, it did so much damage. It did so much damage. So, question is here, what do I want to go into? Do I want to go into the Scizor? Do I want to go into the Scizor? Because that, like, I want you to know, that was from a Gliscor with barely any, um, with barely any attack investment. It did that much to T-Tar, so I can go into Scizor and easily revenge kill. Easily. I can easily revenge kill. You know, I can, I can revenge kill with, um, with Bug Bite, too, instead. Hmm. But it's like, do I want to go into that, or do I want to go into Azelf? Because of the HP fighting. The HP fighting should kill. Nah, I think I'll go into Scizor. I'm gonna go into Scizor. I'm gonna go into Scizor. So, he went turn one Ice Beam. Okay. So he went turn one Ice Beam. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I wish I, I wish I had you turned out, but I really thought he was gonna go for the Stealth Rock, but I guess he's not gonna go for the Stealth Rock. I guess he had no, re I mean, he had no reason to go for the Stealth Rock anyway, but um, let me go ahead and calc Mega Scizor real quick. Let me go ahead and calc our Mega Scizor. Uh, just to make sure that it will kill this T-Tar. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I really don't, I really honestly don't think I have anything to worry about. Yeah, Bullet Punch, yeah, Bullet Punch kills, Bug Bite kills. I'm not sure what he wants to do. Um, if he, cause he, I can easily Sword Stance right here, but I don't want to risk it because he probably, he's probably going to have Fire Blast or something. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the bullet punch just so just so he dies just so he dies I didn't see any like leftovers recovery on him he has the steel berry that's what I was afraid of that's what I was afraid of but it still killed oh that was a crit I don't know if that crit actually mattered but that was actually really scary okay that was really scary, but now he's gonna go into Delphox probably. He's probably gonna go into Delphox. That's just that's his best switch. That's his best switch though. Which I'm trying to figure out what do we go into for Delphox? What do we go into? This man had the steel berry. Oh my gosh. He had the steel berry. He had the steel berry. It sucks that it sucks that Gliscor had to die so early. It sucks, but I mean, what can you do? Like he went turn one Ice Beam. I should have U turned out. I really should have just U turned out um, into Heatran or something. But I don't know. I don't know. So I really do think he'll go into Delphox here. I really do think he'll go into Delphox. I say I say Delphox because like I'm I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out, and that, that, that'll that give him a free, like, calm mind, because I can't risk going for a flamethrower. I, I can't risk him going for, like, flamethrower or mystical fire or whatever move he wants to go for. I can't risk it. So, because I know for a fact that Scizor cannot take a hit from Delphox, especially, or he goes into Mens? Oh, he's going into Salamence to get the Intimidate drop. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, that makes sense, but I don't know what he's gonna want to do, though. What is he gonna want to do? <sighs> what is he gonna want to do? Looking at our team, looking at our team, I really want to keep this sizzle around. Uh, I really do want to keep the sizzle around. It has priority. At the same time, I'm not really sure what this thing here wants to do. He could be choice. He could. Well, uh, now nah, if he was choice, he'd be Moxie. So he's probably Yachi Berry, most likely. Um, he didn't bring Raichu as well. I just noticed that he didn't bring Raichu. Um, 
he could just go for Fire Blast or Flamethrower and just kill us. Um, he could, he could go for like EQ or something. I think our best switch would be Suicune. And I say Suicune because um, if he goes for a physical move, we can take it. If he goes for Fire, Bl or Fire Blast or something, we can take it. Um, so, and then we can pressure him as well. Draco. He just clicks Draco. What? What? Special Mint? He is a Special Mint. He's a Life Orb Mint. He is a Life Orb. He's a Life Orb Special Mint. So he is a Special Variant. He's a Special Variant. So let's go ahead and calc that up real quick. Let's calc that one up real quick. So Salamence. Um, like if he's if he's 252 with Draco and he's minus two now, like he's not doing anything to our Suicune. Now let me just go ahead and calc and see where Suicune is at when it comes to HP though. Um, 207. We're at 43% with our Suicune. We're at 43%. We're at 43%. What do I want to do? What does he want to do? What is he going to go into? What is he... Because I don't see him staying in. He's minus two. He's minus two and he doesn't kill. So, like, what would he... What would he go into right here? Venusaur? I mean, I would suspect Venusaur... I would suspect Venusaur... So let me go. I'm gonna go into Heatran. I think Heatran would be okay here. I think Heatran would be okay here. Cause like I he special mints. That's confusing. That's so confusing. That is so confusing, dude. Asparagus Venusaur. Yep. Yep. There it is. Okay. Venusaur. Venusaur, Venusaur. Venusaur. So. Alright, so he's gonna Mega. He's gonna Mega. I think it'll be in our best interest to either burn him or set up rocks. I think I'm gonna go for the burn. I'm gonna try to Will O Wisp him. So, he stayed in. He has Earthquake or something. He has Earthquake. He has EQ. He has EQ. He has to have EQ. He stayed in. Like, who in their right mind would stay in on a Heatran if they don't have EQ? He has it. See? He had it. He does have it. He does, in fact, have it. So, EQ. Sandstorm subsides. That's cool. Like, he, act, like, the, yo, like, he wrote about this exact situation. Like, like, he wrote about this situation. Hang on, where is it at? Um, Mega Venusaur is also coming. Needs to have HP Fire. Also, I think he's EQ. And then, like, Heatran should be taking uh, an EQ from Scizor. Not Scizor, from Venusaur fairly, fairly well. Yeah, he can just stay in an EQ, which you can take fairly comfortably once Venusaur is burned. Boom. So now, question is, what do we do? I'm gonna set up rocks. I'm gonna set up rocks now. I'm gonna set up rocks. Okay. So, question is, what does this Vaporeon have? Does this Vaporeon have Heal Bell? Is he gonna reveal the Heal Bell? I think he's gonna reveal the Heal Bell. I think he's gonna reveal the Heal Bell. <coughs> mm, excuse me. I think he's gonna reveal it. I really do think he'll reveal the heal bell. So I think in this situation, I think in this situation, I could go. I could go into Suicune or Mainectric. I can go into Suicune or Mainectric and just Volt Switch out. I think that's what I can do. 
If I go into main if I go to main Etric, I'll vote switch out. If I go into Suicune, I'll stay in and calm mine. Considering I don't think he'll be able to do anything to us unless he has like HP electric or something. But I really do think he'll go for the heal bell right here. So he'll re so he'll reveal it. So he will reveal it. We outspeed our heat train outspeeds the Venusaur as well. But for right now, I think he's gonna go for the heal bell. So I think I'm gonna go into main neck trick, predicting him that he'll go for the heal bell. Because he doesn't want that Venusaur burned. He he needs that Venusaur. So no, he just goes for the Scald. He just clicks Scald. This man is real. This man is real. This man is actually real. Main neck trick. Against Vaporeon. Let's say he's you, you wish or something. Thunderbolt does so much damage. Thunderbolt does so much damage. Even if he's, let's see, let's say if he's a special defense. It doesn't even matter. Thunderbolt still does so much damage. What does he have? What does he have on his team that will want to take a Thunderbolt? Venusaur. But do I want to stay? Do I, I'm just gonna Volt Switch. I'm just gonna Volt Switch out. I'm just gonna Volt Switch out. It's uh, like he has such a bulky team, man. Such a bulky team. I mean, I have a bulky team too, but ah, oh, man. I really thought I really thought he was gonna heal Bell. I really thought he was gonna heal Bell. That's what I thought. I thought he was gonna heal Bell because it just makes sense. It just makes sense from the heal Bell. I did not think he was gonna scald. I really didn't think he was gonna scald. I should have went into Suicune right there. Then I really should have went into Suicune right there. That would have been a really good switch for us. I wish Sweet I wish Suicune's hidden ability was out, but then Suicune would not be Suicune would not be you you though. Venusaur? No. This thing. This thing. Alright, call Fagrigus. Like, I really do not know. Oh my gosh! Wait, did we get a crit or something? <laughs> did we get a crit or something, bro? This thing died. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, I don't even know what just happened. I, I looked away because I was calcing. I was like running some calcs, but oh no. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, the, yeah, Volt Switch on a Call for Grigas, Volt Switch shouldn't have done that much damage. So I think that was a crit. I think we got him with a crit. Oh no, here we go. We are hacking people out. Oh my gosh. Ah, what do we go into now? What do we go into now? I don't think Azelf would be a really good. I don't think I, I don't think Azelf would be good for us because yeah, I think that'll be really bad for us to be honest. Uh, let me see, custom set. I mean, Shadow Ball kills, but Shadow Ball almost kills us, and we have Life Orb, so I don't want to do that. I think if anything, um. I think if anything, we should go into Heatran. I think Heatran would be able to take a hit easily, and we can just we can just click um we can click Lava Plume or Ancient Power. I think. Let's see, and we get uh, that's recovery too, so that's also nice as well. Uh, yeah, if he doesn't have special defense investments, we can kill. If he does have special defense investments, then that sucks for us, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna click Lava Plume. That's just... I'm just gonna click Lava Plume. He withdrew! Makes sense. Delphox? No. This thing. Right. That's right, that's right, that's right. Now! Can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? No, we cannot. All right, we can't hack him out anymore. <laughs> now, what does he have? He has lefties. So this Vaporeon has lefties. Vaporeon, Vaporeon. 
Vaporeon. So it revealed Skull. That's all it's revealed. I don't know what else it could possibly have. I have no clue what else it could possibly have. But let's go into our Suicune. Let's see. Let's see if we calc Suicune. Okay, yeah, Scald's not doing anything. He could predict the switch in the Suicune. It can go into Venusaur, but we should be able to take uh, a hit from Venusaur and calm mind up, and we should be good. Um, let's see. Let's think. Would he click Scald, or would he just? No, he would not go. Would he overpredict us? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go into Suicune. Suicune is a, it's an obvious switch, but I'm gonna go into it. If he predicts us to go into Suicune, he goes into Venusaur or something. Then so be it. And if not, then you know whatever. He scalds. Okay, so he just stays in and clicks scald. Okay. No burn. Hey, no burn. So. He can't do anything to us. We somewhat can't do anything to him. So, I'm gonna click Call Mine. Let's do it. Let's set up. And if he re if he reveals Haze, then he has Haze. He is, nope, he reveals Heal Bell. So he does, in fact, have the Heal Bell. He does, in fact, carry the heal bell all right that's cool but we just got a free calm mind up though so now we're at plus one we're at plus one plus one so he has scald heal bell i would imagine wish protect or i would imagine wish haze maybe does he not carry it I have no clue, but I'm just going to set up another Calm Mind, and then if he does reveal the Haze, then so be it, then so be it. We're still, we're getting Leftovers Recovery right now. No, he reveals Roar. Why we have Haze? Just Roar. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, he doesn't have, he doesn't have Stealth Rocks up, so I'm fine. I am fine. I wish they roared us out into our main electric. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. So he has roar. So he has scald, roar, heal bell. Hang on, let me see. So let me type in scald, roar. What else could he possibly have then? Wish? Wish maybe? Hmm. I mean, really, honestly, I'm just gonna keep going back in the sweet coon. Cause it, it's, it's like, what else? I mean, it doesn't matter now. Like, come on, bro. I can do whatever. He can click scald if he wants. Yep, he clicks scald. Like, I'm fine. I am fine. Okay, so I can't scald him, and I don't want to reveal extra sensory just yet. Um, I really don't. I really don't. Uh, because he can't do anything to us. I think he's trying to fish for a burn. And he's not gonna get that burn. I hope. I hope he doesn't get that burn. Um, this is a stall fest right now. This is a stall fest. I'm gonna click rest. I'm, a, I'm just gonna click rest. Now he can't do anything. Now he's not gonna burn us at all. <laughs> and he doesn't, he he probably thinks we have sleep talk. So. Like, I don't think, I don't think he's gonna sit here and wait for these sleep turns to go by. I really don't think he'll wait for these sleep turns to go by. So. I'm just gonna burn a sleep turn. Cause I know I'm asleep. 
so I'm just gonna burn I'm just gonna burn a sleep turn he actually stays in what oh he uses wish oh he's gonna go into the coffer Regus isn't he he's gonna go into the coffer Regus oh crap oh he's gonna go into the coffer Regus oh crap he is gonna go into the coffer Regus that's the only thing he can go that's the only thing he, like it just makes sense for him to go into that he's gonna go into it so what would be our best switch for that thing Heatran? Probably Heatran. So let's do it. He's gonna go into Copper Vegas. He's gonna he's gonna go into it. There's no reason for him not to. There's no reason for him not to. Yeah. I need to get rid of that Vaporeon. Ooh. But Jeez, that healed so much HP though. That's crazy. That is crazy. And this Coffer Rigas has lefties as well. Oh my gosh. I just need like I just definitely need like a solid um I need like a I need just like a solid turn to just be able to um heal. He has knockoff. Okay. That did nothing. But he got rid of our leftovers, which sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's go for the... Let's go for the ancient power. Let's go for the ancient power. And let's see if he does go into the uh, Vaporeon. Like that Vapor, we have to. I have to get rid of Vaporeon. I have to get rid of Vaporeon. Yo, can we get the stat boost though? Yo, oh, he has Calm Mind. Oh, we can't let him set up. Okay. He has Calm Mind, so he must have. So he must be Calm Mind Shadow Ball. Calm Mind Shadow Ball, knock off. What else? I don't even know. Pain Split, maybe. Calm Mind, Knock Off, Shadow Ball, Pain Split, probably, ugh, this is going to be disgusting to deal with, I don't have a phaser, I don't have a phaser, so wait, so yeah, he's revealed, so he's revealed, Knock Off, he's revealed, Calm mind. Knock off calm mind. So he has to have Shadow Ball. So what's his fourth move? I don't know what his fourth move is. I really don't know what his fourth move is. But if it's Pain Split then I'll probably go into Scizor. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. I wish we had Roar on our on this Heatran. He has Pain Split, so he doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. Pain split, so he doesn't have Will O Wisp. He doesn't have Will O Wisp, so he's plus. I think so. I think he's plus two. So if we go into Mega Scizor, ah, Shadow Ball still does like sixty something percent. Ugh, that's disgusting. I do not like that at all. But he's burned though. But I still do not know what I can do to this thing. Like, I let it set up. Oh, my gosh. But he's forever burned. But, ugh, this is gross. This is gross. I want this Heatran around for the Venusaur. 
This is gross. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? What can he do? He can Shadow Ball. I legitimately don't know what we can do. Um. Ah, oh my gosh. I wish we had like something to phase out setup mods, but we don't. But we don't. Like, I have Azelf, but the thing is, can a Shadow Ball from Azelf take this thing out? And will he set up another Calm Mind right now? I think, he, I mean, he's free to do so. He's free to do so. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna click Shadow Ball right now. I really don't know. I don't. I don't know what he's gonna do. But um, I'm just gonna go into Suicune, burn off this last sleep turn. He Shadow Ball, so he just clicks Shadow Ball. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see, Suicune. Oh, wait, that's blank set. Let me see, Suicune. Okay. We're gonna play this game. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play this game. We're gonna play this game of keep switching in and out until something dies, and then I'm gonna go into Azelf and just click Shadow Ball. Oh man. I hate this. I hate this a lot. How much would a Shadow Ball from Azelf do? Oh wait, he's plus two special defense as well. It still does like 40 something percent. But Shadow Ball obliterates us. A Shadow Ball from him obliterates us though. That's the bad thing. I'm just gonna click Lava Plume. Uh, uh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to let Heatran go. It sucks. It really does suck because Heatran was here to burn that Venusaur and cripple it. But I needed something. I needed something to take this thing out. It's at plus two. It has to go. It needs to go. Like it. Ha it needs to go. If I didn't get a burn on this thing. If I didn't burn this thing, we would have been in way more trouble. Way more trouble. Way more trouble. Way more trouble, bro. Way more trouble. If we can get away with a crit, though. If we can get away with a crit. <laughs> I mean, he's dead this turn. I think. But if we could get away with a crit and Heatran's still alive, bro, I would be happy. I would be so happy. But I don't know if we're going to get that lucky, though. Because we've been getting crits all over the place in this match. We've been getting crits like crazy. We got a crit on the Tyranitar, and I think we got a crit on this Call for Grigus as well. Because that Call for Grigus took way too much damage from a Volt Switch. From Volt Switch. And it was a Life Orb Volt Switch, too. So, I'm just going to stay in. Lava Plume. Okay, good. So, he's practically dead. He's practically dead. So, we don't have to deal with this stupid thing anymore, I hope. I really do hope, I really do hope we don't have to deal with it. Please die, please die. Okay, like, it was an unfortunate trade. I really did not want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. I just, I didn't want to do that. Like, you guys don't know. I just did not want to do that at all. I didn't want to, but we needed to. So, so yeah. We needed to do that, so it is what it is. I'm gonna go into main metric here because we can just bolt switch out on whatever he brings in. Uh, it doesn't matter what he brings in. I will, I will click bolt switch. <laughs> I will click bolt switch. 
But that Vaporeon has to go, dude. I hate that Vaporeon, but he has Heal Bell, Scald, Roar, Wish. So he doesn't have Protect, so he can't Wish Protect, which is cool. But he still has that Delphox. I think that Delphox is Scarf. And now we don't now we don't have Heatran to take on Del Delphox, which sucks. Which sucks. And he brings in the Mints. Alright, so. Magnetric. Salamence. Let's say he's just a uh, all out attack immense. Oh, 50. Okay, yeah, we speed crept this mince, bro. Speed creeping, speed, speed, speed creeping. Thunderbolt. I am free to click Thunderbolt. I am free to click Thunder. Bolt -da -da -da. Like I'm clicking it. He does not outspeed us. He is not choice. He is life orb. We know this. I wrote it down. We outspeed. We kill. Thunderbolt does a minimum of 67%. Unless he has special defense investments or HP investments, he should die. At most, it does 80%. I'm pretty sure we are well within range of killing him. So I don't think he's going to stay in on this. I don't think he's going to stay in. Or he, if he does stay in, this Mince dies. If he does stay in, Mince dies. 100%. And if it doesn't die, I will, well, no, yeah, he should die. Because even because even if we get in the red, Life Orb damage will kill him. Life Orb damage will kill him. So he has to either go, he has to go into Venusaur or something right now. He has to go into Venusaur right now. And it, 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 as, it sucks, though, that... Yeah, there we go. Now let's see if it kills. It does. Yes! Okay, so Salamence is gone. Salamence is gone. Okay. <sighs> so what is he going to bring out now? Delphox? If he brings in Delphox, I will suspect it being Scarf. I will, su I will expect it to be Scarf. I will expect it to be 100% Scarf, and if it's not Scarf, then, bro, you got me messed up. Okay. Alright. So, let's look at Mega Venusaur real quick. Mega Venusaur. Uh, let's see if he's a defensive tank. Gosh, golly, gosh, golly, gosh, gosh, gosh. So, he revealed Earthquake. He revealed Earthquake. He probably has Giga Drain and Synthesis. Hidden Power Fire? So he's probably gonna go for the EQ. <laughs> he's probably gonna go for the EQ. Which would make sense. Which would make sense. A lot of sense. As of, let's see. Let's see. Let's see, but see the thing is though is I don't want to like try to predict him to go for EQ or anything like that. I think what I should do is oof. No, because I need something for that Vaporeon. I want that Vaporeon dead. Huh. So do I go into Suicune here? Or do I just let Manatric die? I mean I still have Azelf with Psychic and Nasty Plot as well. Ah, oh, this is such a weird position to be in. This is such a weird position to be in. Let's let's count Manectrix um flamethrower on this thing. Yeah, flamethrower. Oh boy. Well, then again, Azelf can come in and just click. We can just click Psychic or something. So I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna go for a flamethrower. I'm gonna get damage on it. I'm gonna get damage on this thing. Yeah, that, that's about right. Yeah, that was about right. So he he just Giga Drains. So he's not going to gain any HP back from it. It sucks that we lost Manetric because he still does have the, um... He still does have the Vaporeon. But, we could just go into Azelf here. 
we just go into Azelf here. And now what we can do is we're free to click Psychic. Like, we are free to click Psychic. We're free to click Psychic. I'm free to click Nasty Plot. Because he can't kill us with any one hit. And if we click Nasty Plot, we obliterate him. So, and let's see if we go in the De if he goes in the Delphox. If he goes in the Delphox, we don't die to any one hit from Delphox unless like we're just bad. So I'm gonna click Nasty Plot. I'm real. I'm real. I'm clicking Nasty Plot. We clicked it. I clicked it. I'm real. Cause either Venusaur switches out or he stays in, but we take we take the hit, we set up, and we kill him. And we kill him. And he needs his Venusaur around. I think he will want to save this Venusaur. So I'm clicking Nasty Plot. I am click I clicked it. So it is what it is. It is what it is. He stays in. Oh wait, does Venusaur get knockoff? No, he just gig drains. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Alright. We're plus two now. We're plus two. We are plus two. I am killing this thing. I am killing it. It's dying. It is dying. So I think now he would probably go into Delphox. I think he I think right now he would go into Delphox. No, he goes into Vaporeon. Vaporeon, let's say you you wish. Psychic does 82 to 97% if he doesn't have any uh, investments. Oh my gosh, I wish we had like Thunderbolt or something on this thing. I'm gonna stay in and click Psychic again. There we go! There we go! This Azelf came through! Jeez! I love Azelf. I love this Azelf. Alright, so he has to lock himself in on a move if he is Scarf. If he's not Scarf, we win. If he's not Scarf, we win. He's not Scarf! Ah! He's not Scarf! Yo! 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 Oh! Oh my gosh! Yes! He wasn't Scarf! He wasn't Scarf! He was not Scarf! He wasn't Scarf. Oh my gosh, dude, he wasn't Scarf. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he wasn't Scarf. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness, dude, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, like I know I got a few, I know I got a few crits in the match that mattered more i think okay i want to say the crit on the coffer grigas was it was a good crit it was a nice crit but in the long run it didn't matter because he did get all of his hp back um i'm not sure if the crit on the tyranitar mattered um because we were max attack mega scissor I, I don't know how much the berry uh would have weakened our bullet punch but oh my oh my gosh dude Oh my gosh, good game to A-Drive. Jeez, that Coffer Grigas was terrifying. It was terrifying until I saw how much damage it did, and I was like, okay, it's not all that scary. I just need to, I had to sack off a Mon for it. It was unfortunate that I had to sack off the Heatran for it, but it is what it is. But oh my gosh, Nasty Plot, a Azelf came through. Azelf, Azelf, I, oh my gosh, dude. That thing, blew, oh, jeez, dude. Jeez, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. If he had knock, like does does Venusaur get knockoff? Does Venusaur get knockoff? Because if he had knockoff on the Venusaur, like I feel like Venusaur does get knockoff, but he just didn't carry the knockoff. 
I don't think he, I don't think he, he yeah it does get knockoff but he probably had Giga Drain HP Fire uh, Earth he had Giga Drain Earthquake uh, he probably had HP Fire and Synthesis which means that he wouldn't have carried HP Fire oh no not HP Fire knockoff so that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy and it's 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 also crazy how they called it too like the person I team built with at least they they called it like. It was like, Venus, Mega Venusaur is also coming. It needs to have HP Fire, otherwise it's walled by Mega Scizor. It needs to have EQ, otherwise it's walled by Heatran, which it had EQ. Uh, and then it needs a Grass move to hit Suicune, Giga Drain, which means three of its attack moves should be HP Fire, Earthquake, and Giga Drain. Boom. And then the fourth move should be Leech Seed uh, or Synthesis, which I feel like that's what A Drive would run. I think that's what Dan would run. So that means that he wouldn't have he wouldn't have knockoff anyway. So I really didn't need to be afraid, but Okay, I don't know what's going on outside. It like I don't I don't know what's going on outside, but that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. <sighs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. But good game, Dan. Good game to A Drive, man. That was a very stressful game. So we are now 10-4. We are now 10 and 4, you guys. 10 and 4? JYT Gamer? I'm I'm actually I'm shocked. I'm shocked too, guys. I'm actually really shocked. I'm shocked. I am very surprised. So, whew, that was crazy. That was a good game, though. That was a good game. But, whew, I feel like I did make a little bit. I did. I feel like I made a few misplays. Like I went to Mainetric on uh, Vaporeon, but then, but then, no. I thought Vaporeon was gonna go for the Heal Bell. Though. That's the thing. I thought he was actually gonna click Heal Bell because of the position he was in. Obviously, I'm a Heatran. He's Vaporeon. I wasn't gonna stay in no matter what. I wasn't gonna stay in either way. So. And he had Heal Bell too. So I, I switched out into Manectric thinking I can get a free switch into Manectric, but he just goes for the Scald. So, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, again, person I team built with said, well, it doesn't matter how much damage Manectric takes because you still outspeed his entire draft. And I'm like, you're right. So I don't know who, I, I don't know who this person is, but like, they, 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 they knew. They knew. They just knew. That's crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this battle in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the like button down below too. Show your support. Leave a comment down below as well. If you guys want to see a drive side of the battle, it will be linked in the video description below along with his channel. Go check him out. He's an awesome Pokemon content creator, shiny hunter, and all that good stuff. Next week, we got a fight against the Real Marils. Miguel and uh, Miguel is a very terrifying opponent. So um, if we can if we can clutch a win from Miguel, bro, I think we can make playoffs. Like I am I am 100% ready to like take on Miguel. I'm ready. I am so ready, dude. I'm so ready. I'm so ready, dude. I, I want playoff spot. I really want that playoff spot. But anyways, I'm up out of here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.